This is This TV and I'm Katie Pullinger and it's the 2007 Animal Wind Fest. But this year it's a little bit special. It's the 20th anniversary of animal clothing, which means big parties, big competitions and loads of gorgeous guys and girls in wetsuits, which is always nice. Loads of parties happening this weekend and loads of events and competitions. So we're going to get started tonight with the launch of the 2007 Animal Wind Fest. Let's go see what's going on. Okay. Thank you very much, Neil, for having in Winfest 2007. Uh, it's, your, it's a pleasure. What do we do? Break and open. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Winfest 2007 open. Let the party begin. man in wakeboarding. Uh, I'm joined now by Neil Pride. How are you doing? Great. Now, you're a pretty big name in this business. Well, I'm a little guy, but I, <laughs> hopefully we've been around enough years so the name's well known. We've been 30 years in the business. so 30 years is a long time. Now, what does Windfest mean to you? What's it going to be about this weekend for well, you? The most important thing about Windfest this year for us is we launched a new uh, British distribution structure with our own company here in partnership with the British businessman. Yeah. So this is a really imp important year for us. We've uh, a whole new company, a whole new structure. So we're looking forward to a you know, a very strong future here in the UK with our own setup. How did the launch go for you last night? Was it a fun party? Absolutely. We had yeah. a great night, great band, a lot of fun. Yeah, no, we had uh, uh, Chris Martin, he's one of the uh, guys, that was, well, he's worked having a big part of Windfest this yeah. year, isn't he? And he's one of the leads in the, in the band this year, which is great fun. We impressed? For us, yeah. Chris works for us, yeah. So uh, we had our own band. What did you, what did you think of him? Maybe he's a better made a singer than he is a salesman, I don't know. We have to see that. <laughs> so the sun's shining, which means the crowds are out. It looks like it's been a really, really good wind fest this year. We've got the zap cats, we've got the volleyball, there's going to be windsurfing, there's going to be loads going on today, and it's going to be a really, really good weekend. I found myself an animal rider. Chopper, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you very much. And what are you doing here then on this gorgeous sunny day? I'm here with the animal born Cooza Bike Tour. Cool, and where have you come in from? I hear that you've been on a long flight to make it to Winfest. Yeah, I've just uh, come in from Canada where I've been competing in some of the biggest slope style events called Crankworks and also filming for New World Disorder, which is uh, one of the world's biggest mountain bike movies coming to a store near you. <laughs> Nicely done, I like it. A little bit of, little bit of self-promotion is always good. Oh, it's awesome, you know, hot chicks around. <laughs> Like yourself. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, you, you know, really, really sunny, <laughs> nice beach, and I'm on my bike. Yeah, we've been lucky with the weather, haven't we? Uh, so, yeah, a very nice bike. Is this your favourite? This is my favourite bike. It's a green Kona stuff, which is uh, my own signature colour, so uh, you can't buy that one in stores. It's too easy. Right, it's time to go and see what's happening on the wakeboard pool. <laughs> See, he really should be wearing a helmet, you know, safety first and everything. Right, I'm joined by Steve Kitchen from Animal. How are you doing, Steve? Very well, thank you very much. 20th anniversary, it's a good year, isn't it? Oh, it's great, we've got sunshine, we've uh, we've even got wind coming tomorrow, so we're excited about that. Really? Oh, really and the noise. Oh. Oh. And spectacle another wipeout, another wipeout. Uh, so you're pleased with the turnout this year? Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. We need to advertise next year to come on your bike because the car park got jammed about an hour and a half. I know. Ago. I got in in the nick of time. I think I got the last space of the day, which I was quite quite proud of myself. Excellent. Well, <laughs> it's like Van City in that car park, though, isn't it? I'm joined now by two times British champion Bubble, and his phone's ringing. We'll start that again. <laughs> Right then, you may see a familiar face down here on this board here. This is uh, Kirsty Jones, who is, of course, the World Wave Champion kite surfer. Is that right? Is that right? 
I was practicing beforehand. <laughs> Hello. Good, good. How are you? I'm not bad, thank you. So you are just telling me that you just had a long drive. Where have you come in from? I just come back from a kite surfing wave contest in Portugal. I mean, that's commitment. Why is it so important to be at Windfest? Well, it's kind of one of the most important... Uh, water sports events of pretty much anywhere in, in the UK. Everyone is here. There's windsurfing, kite surfing, uh, wakeboarding, the bike show, like everything's going on and everyone is here. And, and the parties? Of course, the most important. I'm quite obsessed about the parties. Keep asking about the parties. <laughs> Did you go to the party last night? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Really, really nice evening. Yeah. Uh, not too late because you've got to save your energy, you know, not burn out too quickly, so. <laughs> I've got Colin Dixon here from Club Bass. How you doing, Colin? Very good, thank you. A little bit hungover, but all good. We're all feeling a little bit hazy today. Now you get to see what Windfest is really about. The wind's up and the race is about to begin. at the end, they were Matt Wems hotly on your tail. Yeah, it was good. I made a mistake. I was sort of showing off on the way in because I actually had an okay lead and as I was showing off, of course, I fell off. So I had to run in and oh, I'll complete out of breath still. Can I take the opportunity to do a nice... It was a bit, of a bit of a body drag there at the end, yeah? It was, yeah. I need that to freshen up after last night. So. Yeah, we're all feeling a little bit hazy this morning, hence the voice. Oh, no, yeah. Not much voice left today. Yeah. But well done anyway. That Thanks a lot. It was good fun. Good fun. Yeah. Unfortunately, winning that race means I have to start last in the next race because it's a reverse grid format so uh, <laughs> it'll it be a lot harder to win the next one oh, I'm sure you can do it I'm sure you can do it good luck <laughs> and now uh, part two of the slalom begins Gary, how are things going today? How are the conditions? Uh, superb today. We've got sun and wind, which is good. Uh, a little bit more wind would be better, but everyone's playing in, everyone's having fun. So, uh, no, fantastic. We've got one more round of slalom, and this afternoon it's going to be tag team, which is four people in a team, one rash vest. So, not only do they have to come to the beach and finish, they've got to change the rash vest and go back out again four times. I can see a lot of fights happening on this one. Yeah, fights are definitely going to be the order of the day for that one. <laughs> Running like girls is brilliant. <laughs> I've never seen boys run like such girls. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> it's a fight to the village. <laughs> Animal Paul Winfest, the only one. Brilliant. Shh. Shh. Thank you very much. <laughs>